Some basketball players, they have it all. The hype, the fame, the glory, the height. Yeah, that's that's right. I actually said the height. Let's face it. In basketball, the taller you are, the better your odds, at least to a certain extent. There are some players who are so tall that it's actually a health hazard. And unfortunately, they're lucky to be able to walk a straight line. I think the NBA has spoiled us all. We watch these athletes before us who are not only tall, who are not only athletic, but are also insanely coordinated. The taller you get, the harder it is to maintain decent coordination. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that one. You look at a sport like football, a sport like soccer, they call a guy like DK Metcalf, a six foot four guy, they call that tall. And while in reality, it is, it's very tall. In the NBA, if you're trying to play shooting guard, they might call you undersized. That's kind of tough. And for some, it could be a reality check. Shout out to my boy Zlatan though. He held it down for tall soccer players. I still gotta cop his LA Galaxy jersey. I joke. Russell Westbrook, tall, right? At least to the average human. He's like 6'3", 6'4", but he wasn't always. And just like the height, he didn't always have the hype or the fame that he has now. As a matter of fact, Westbrook has had to work for everything that he's earned. As a junior in high school, Westbrook stood 5'9". That didn't stop the hoop dreams though. Oh, Russell Westbrook! And it shouldn't, because you can make it regardless of your height, regardless of your hype. Westbrook's career now, filled with all NBA accomplishments, all NBA awards. He was named the NBA's most valuable player for the 2017 season. He posted a triple double, something that I wasn't sure I would ever see in my lifetime. Before Westbrook did it, this had only been done one time by the Big O. He posted 30.8 points per game, 12.5 rebounds, 11.4 assists. Since Westbrook has averaged this triple-double, the feat's been becoming more common. The triple-double isn't what it once was, right? Somebody averaged the triple-double in 2018 and then again in 2019. Oh, wait, both of those guys were Russell Westbrook. The game is always evolving, and some players, they force its evolution. Nine-time NBA All-Star, who has twice led the NBA in points and assists, but unfortunately, I also feel like Westbrook also leads the league in critics. My team, the Rockets, was stuck with Russell Westbrook. And your team, the They Lakers criticize the up-tempo, nasty demeanor that comes with Westbrook's play style. Give me a break. You could call the rise of Russell Westbrook unlikely. Even he'll tell you. Westbrook admitted, I never thought I was going to play in the NBA. A lot of people who are in the NBA now have been good since they were eight. I wasn't good until I was 17. During his freshman and sophomore year in high school, Westbrook stood around 5'8 and weighed 140 pounds. This Long Beach, California native didn't start on the varsity basketball team either. During this time, Westbrook had dreams of playing basketball at UCLA alongside his best friend, Kelsey Bars III. This goal never materialized. Bars would pass away from an enlarged heart during a pickup game in May 2004. The passing severely hurt Russell Westbrook. He says it's a moment he'll never forget, but also a moment that he used to fuel his fire. He said Bars was one of the best, and chances are he'd be right besides Russ in the NBA. Russell Westbrook, five foot nine junior, now a starter. He built his reputation on being an intense competitor with a high motor. Over the 0405 season, Westbrook averaged 12 points, 4.7 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 2.3 steals over 24 games. This was good enough to get the attention of the assistant UCLA coach, though his colleagues didn't understand the initial interest in Westbrook. I mean, look, at this time, Russell Westbrook could hardly dunk. But of course, there's much more to basketball than just dunking. Shout out to James Harden. We haven't forgot those shots you took at Giannis. Like that takes no skill at all. <laughs> they said Westbrook was undersized, not a traditional point guard. UCLA's assistant coach defended himself by saying, I never said he was a point guard. I just said he could play. He knew Westbrook was intense and he loved every bit of it. UCLA's head coach, Ben Howland, also wasn't initially convinced that Russell Westbrook was Bruins material. He knew about his speed and defensive intensity. Russell Westbrook seemed like an adequate backup to UCLA's point guard at the time, Darren Collison. The summer of 2005 would be a big one for Russ. Things would pick up even more. He would receive his first recruiting letter and experienced a massive growth spurt. 
No longer was Russell Westbrook five foot eight, five foot nine. He now stood six foot three with a six foot eight wingspan. Westbrook, who was now a senior, would go on to play in 28 games, post 25 points per game, 8.7 boards, 2.3 assists, and over three steals per game. On January 6th, 2006, he would score 51 points versus Carson. For the season, Westbrook had 14 double doubles and scored 30 or more points eight times. In spite of his impressive stats, top college programs still didn't know if Russell Westbrook was for real. Rivals in 24-7 sports ranked Russell Westbrook as a three-star prospect. All NBA Russell Westbrook. A modern Mr. Triple Double Russell Westbrook. If you were under the basket, I'm going through you or over you. Russell Westbrook, a player who wore his heart on his sleeve every play, somebody who would bring it every night. Russell Westbrook. Wow. UCLA would offer Westbrook a scholarship once Jordan Farmar declared for the 2006 NBA draft. You heard me right. There's a chance if Farmar doesn't go pro, Westbrook doesn't get that scholarship. Imagine that. The Cali kid not getting his shine. Farmar was cool. He has some decent years with the Lakers. I'm talking like four points, nine points per game, six points per game, seven points per game. It really sounds like I'm slandering him. This is crazy. I'm not, I'm not slandering him. You gotta be good to make it to the NBA. You score one bucket, you hooping to me. Farmar was cool, but he was no Russ. At UCLA, Russ would go on to meet the love of his life. They say things happen for a reason. Sometimes you just have to find it. They're the parents of twin daughters, Sky and Jordan, born November 2018. During Westbrook's freshman season at UCLA, he played a backup role to Darren Collison. He wore number zero. For the 06-07 season, Westbrook averaged 3.4 points and under one rebound and assist per game. He built his reputation on hustle and defense. UCLA would make it to the Final Four, where they would eventually lose to the champion Florida Gators. Over the summer before his sophomore season, Westbrook would create a buzz around his performance in pickup games on UCLA's campus. Professional players like Kobe, KG, Mello all played in these games. Former Bruins, Baron Davis and Earl Watson bragged to the coach about Westbrook's intensity. During his sophomore season at UCLA, Westbrook started in 34 of 39 games. He averaged 12.7 points, nearly four boards, 4.7 assists, and 1.6 steal per game. Westbrook would join the starting lineup alongside freshman Kevin Love and point guard Darren Collison. UCLA made it to the NCAA Final Four for the third year in a row. They faced the Memphis Tigers and Derrick Rose. Rose versus Westbrook. You can't make this up. Westbrook led UCLA with 22 points. He also was two of three from three and had two steals. Rose has 25 points of his own. He recorded nine boards and four assists. Though Memphis would win the game, the NCAA would vacate the season. For the 07-08 season, the Bruins finished with a 35-4 record. Westbrook was now Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year and named to the All-Pac-10 third team. After his sophomore season, Westbrook entered his name in the 2008 NBA Draft. The 2008 Draft would be a heavy draft class with some big hitters. I'm talking about like Barry Slightly Bonds. Open stands, feet fairly close together, crowding the play. Is it wild that Westbrook would be drafted to the Supersonics? I really feel for that team. I really feel for Seattle. KD, Westbrook. And then the new team eventually gets hard and all that promise, gone. Take it from them like it never happened. It was the betrayal of the century, not by KD, not by Russ, not by anybody but the ownership group. But am I going to be the one to sit here and say that OKC doesn't deserve a team after what I've seen this crowd do? Nah, that's not gonna be me. Seattle with the fourth pick in the NBA draft. Thought about Brooke Lopez, but ultimately decided to go Russ. When Russell Westbrook was drafted, when I tell you things hit the fan and the critics were everywhere, it doesn't tell the half of it. One writer wrote that Jared Bayless would be a better fit without the ball and the perfect point guard for a system built for Kevin Durant instead of Russell Westbrook. A similar sentiment was echoed by Draft Express. 
they said Russell Westbrook is a player that may or may not prove to be worthy of starting at either backcourt position in the NBA and taking him fourth was definitely a surprise looking at some of the other players that were on the board here. Is Russell Westbrook enough of a playmaker to be a starting point guard in the NBA? And if not, is he big enough and a good enough ball handler, outside shooter and all around scorer to be a two guard? Fortunate for the Supersonics at the time, Presti didn't listen to public opinion. Not only did Presti draft Russell Westbrook in the 2008 NBA draft, he also added Serge Ibaka to the team with the 24th overall pick, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. The possibilities were endless. If they stay together, who knows what happens? And that's not to forget James Harden. Russ would never play a game in Seattle as they would become the Oklahoma City Thunder. OKC would hold it down, just like Westbrook. While some players left and others quit on the team, one thing would remain the same. Stars come and go, but not Russell Westbrook. Westbrook would be traded to Houston in good fate. Team up alongside James Harden, the Beard and Russ, one of the most exciting duos in the entire NBA. From three stars to MVP, a story I'll listen to any day of the week. Be sure to click the video on the screen. Be sure to subscribe. My reaction channel is in the description below. I'm G-Light Coop and I'm out.